Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. When I'm in the darkroom, I like to print around grade two to two and a half for most of my negatives. And the reason for that is that I like to be in the middle of the grade. So I have plenty of room to go upwards and plenty of room to go downwards for those odd photographs that might need it. But if I have a new film and I haven't fully tested it yet, I'm sometimes way off with my development time. And I find myself having to print at three and a half or four, or sometimes down at one or even less than grade one. Now this affects my scanning too, because if my film is not optimized, if I'm not getting the best exposure and the best development, then my film uh, contrast is all out and I'm having to do much more manipulation in my scanning to bring everything in to where I want it to be. So how do I work out very quickly where I need to be with my film development time? Because it is film development time that's affecting this grade or this contrast amount on my negative. Well, there's a thing called the 25% rule. And today I want to tell you about that. The 25% rule. It's all about grades. Now, Kodak, I think, came out with this rule back in the 70s, maybe earlier than that. And they said that if you reduce development by 25%, you will go up one grade in paper. And conversely, if you increase your development by 25%, you will go down one grade. So if you're constantly printing at grade one, one and a half or less even, and you need to come up to grade two, two and a half to get right in the middle of that ballpark for our, for our multi-grade filters, then you want to use the 25% rule. Now this set of negatives were developed and I printed this one here and I found I needed grade one to one and a half to print this nicely. And so I figured I had overdeveloped this film. And so the next development, I reduced it by 25%. Now this one's in the wash right now, and I'm gonna print this one right now and see if I'm getting that extra grade by that reduction of development time. Now some of you may print at grades three or even four. If you need to bring it down, and I suggest you do, you should be round about grade two to two and a half all the time with average negatives then you need to just increase your development by 25% and that will bring down your grade by one grade. But the proof is in the pudding. So I've got this one washing. I'm going to print this one now and we're going to check it out and find out if Kodak was right. This is the first print and it was at grade one and a half and it's a nice print. There's not much wrong with that. It's very nice. However, it's in the lower end of the grades and I'm not happy about that. I want to get in the middle. And so I reduced development time of another strip of that film by 25% and it lifted it. You know what? One grade. Look at that. That's grade two and a half. Now I'm in the middle. Now I've got room to play with with other negatives on that film. So it's really nice. That's a lovely print. Very happy with that. So guys, if you're in the lower end of the grades, then reduce your development time by 25% to move it one grade. If you're in the higher end, if you're up at grade four, you need to be lower than that. So increase your development time by 25% and you'll get yourself right in the middle, just where it's nice, where your film is performing at its best and it saves you a lot of time. And when it comes to testing, this gets you right in the ballpark to start your testing as well. So there's another big advantage. With scanning, you're not overdeveloping your film, and so you're not burning out the highlights and having to pull them back down and do a lot of extra work with your scanning. So this is how you can use the 25% rule. But thank you, Kodak. This is a great rule of thumb. I hope you liked that video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and look forward to Friday where you've got another tip coming.